All right, everyone. Thanks for joining my session today. Uh, my name is Mike Davis, and we're going to be covering running BI workloads on Windows, Azure, virtual machines. So we're going to talk about the cloud today. We're going to talk about infrastructure, talk about uh, infrastructure as a service and how that works, and basically the kind of uh, the steps you would go through to get your BI workload up running on uh, the cloud. So hopefully you've been uh, keeping up with what's going on in the world of cloud. Uh, lots of companies out there are working on this now. Amazon, of course, Microsoft, and several others have uh, great cloud solutions out there now. So we're going to talk about, of course, Windows Azure, and we're going to talk about uh, how you can actually run your BI solution up there in the cloud. So uh, a little bit about me first. My name is Mike Davis. I'm a, a BI architect and a managing project lead with Pragmatic Works. And I've been author on about five SQL books. In fact, the newest one just came out. It's the Innovation Services uh, 2014 professional book. So you should go to Amazon right now and order that. In fact, I'll wait. Go ahead. Just kidding. All right. So uh, that's a little bit about myself. And this is what we're going to cover today. So today we're going to talk about uh, infrastructure as a service and some of the options that you have in Azure. For example, uh, you have the options to use gallery images. So there are some images that are built in to Azure that you can grab and use, and we'll show you how those work. You can also, uh, we're going to talk about how you can run your BI workloads in a Windows Azure virtual machine. We're going to talk about uh, how to use SQL Server virtual machines uh, for your corporate BI scenarios in Azure. We're going to talk about how to use Azure with uh, analysis services and reporting services. And we're going to talk about how to build your own fully customized BI environment up in Azure. And we're going to talk about how you can create your own images to make deployment easier in Azure. So we, we're not going to cover, we're not going to cover how to set up a complete SharePoint BI farm uh, or any of the other uh, typical install items that you would think about in a BI solution. People have been spinning up VMs for years and installing SharePoint for years. So no need for us to cover that. That's something that is done regardless of whether you're going to the cloud or not. We're just going to talk about how it actually incorporates into the cloud and into Azure and how those VMs work out there and how they're different, but not about how to actually set them up and install them like you would on a typical install. All right, so first let's talk about I -I uh, IaaS or IaaS. As I'm not sure if that's the proper way to pronounce it. I've heard it pronounced three different ways, so I'm going to say IaaS, uh, or probably just say Azure <laughs> here and there. But IaaS stands for Infrastructure as a Service. So uh, what is Infrastructure as a Service? Infrastructure as a Service uh, is any environment that uh, allows you to host virtual machines without having to build and maintain uh, the hosting infrastructure yourself. So there's a lot of uh, corporate IT departments that take advantage of uh, virtualization environments to run their workloads. Uh, but IS eliminates the need to install or maintain host servers and it allows you to focus on uh, just your VMs rather than the infrastructure around those VMs. Uh, in Windows Azure, uh, IaaS is provided through the Windows Azure virtual service machines out there. All right, so that is what IaaS is. Uh, before we go any further, though, let's talk about what is in the BI stack. So I'm going to ask you guys some questions here. Uh, now, normally I would do this in a room full of people and have people raise their hands. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just ask the questions. I'll pause for a second, let you uh, think of your answer, and uh, you don't have to type in the chat room or the questions or anything like that. We'll end up blowing up the question room if we do that. So, uh, But we'll just give you a chance to, to think about it and then... Uh, I'll give you one second to answer here. All right. So, uh, is this part of the BI stack? Is analysis services part of the BI stack? Yes or no? Yes, of course it is. Yep. Analysis services is an important part of the BI stack. It's a tool we use to do multi-dimensional tabular databases. What about the SQL Server engine itself, though? Is the SQL Server engine a part of the BI stack? Hmm. Yes or no? So. Give you a second to think about that. All right, so uh, as a consultant, I am required to say at least three times a day, it depends. So this is my one for the day here to start off. It, SQL Server as an engine, is it part of the BI stack? It depends. Uh, it depends on if you're actually using the engine in your BI stack. So for example, if I have my multidimensional cube out there and it's pulling from 
uh, SQL Server and roll that mode, then the engine is a big part of my BI stack. But if I've got, say, Power Pivot and I'm just pulling data directly from uh, flat files or uh, some other location, or maybe I'm pulling from SQL Server but I'm not really using the engine here, I'm just kind of you know, querying the data and dropping it over into Power Pivot, then really the engine is not a big part of my BI stack. Yeah, it's my source, but not really a big part of the, the BI stack in terms of uh, the BI solution itself. So it could be, it could not be, it depends on how you've got your BI solution set up. But in Azure, uh, the SQL Server engine, of course, is a part of your BI stack for sure. All right, what else? Uh, SSRS or reporting services. Is reporting services? Of course it is. Yes, reporting services, of course, that's if you're using it. Uh, it is a part of your BI stack for sure. Now, whatever reporting tool you're using is a part of your BI stack. What about Active Directory? Is Active Directory a part of your BI solution? What do you guys think? All right, that's another, it depends um, if you're actually using Active Directory as a part of uh, your uh, authentication and your security in your BI stack, then yes, this is a big part of your BI solution. Active Directory can be used inside of Azure, and we'll talk about that, so it could be a part of your BI stack there also. What else here? What's the next item? SharePoint. It could be. If you're hosting on SharePoint, sure, of course, that could be a part of your BI solution. It doesn't have to be, though. Uh, if you're just uh, taking reports and basically dumping them out to a file share somewhere and uh, people get to those through SharePoint list or something like that, then SharePoint is the portal to get to those, but they're not, they're not really a part of your BI stack. It's just kind of the, uh, the gateway people are using to get to it. Uh, it's not something you have to really plan for in your BI stack too much. Networking. Now, I'm not talking about Facebook or, or Twitter here. I'm talking about your actual networking your cabling, your solutions, your, uh, your LAN cards, uh, everything that you're using to uh, connect. Is that a part of your BI solution? Hmm, is it or is it not? Uh, again, it depends. So uh, if I'm working out in Azure, and uh, Azure has got my network all set up for me, so I don't really have to worry about that. Uh, there is some networking you have to do, and I'll talk about that uh, in Azure, some things you can set up with affinity groups, but uh, we'll get into that in a moment. But uh, on my solution in-house, my networking is my backbone for everything. If I don't have network, uh, my network set up correctly, I can't uh, even start building a BI stack. So networking is definitely a backbone for everything uh, in a uh, in your solution or in your uh, in-house solution. But in the cloud, you kind of take that out. You don't have to worry about that so much. Is Office a part of the BI stack? You know, ten years ago, this may have been a, a big no. Now, yes, it's definitely a part of your BI solution. Uh, when you create a report and you put it out there. What are people grabbing and doing with that report most of the time? 